winter's approaching here in the UK and the evenings are getting longer. So this is the perfect time of year to do some cosy evening sofa sketching. Today I'm going to be looking at useful kit, storage ideas and what to draw. So make yourself a warm drink and let's get ready to do some cosy evening sofa sketching. Hi, I'm Helen and welcome to my channel. So today I'm looking at all things cosy creating. I'm going to make use of the long winter evenings and put together my travelling around the house art kit, my art supplies kit. In this video I'm going to be looking at all the things that may or may not be useful within that kit and ideas to get you sketching while you're snuggled up on the sofa watching TV. I just wanted to jump in here to say thank you so much. While I'm editing this, I've hit 500 subscribers on my little YouTube channel. Who knew that would happen? That's so amazing. Oh my goodness, I am so grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has subscribed from wherever in the world you are. It's amazing. I, we've, I've, I can see from my analytics that I've got people from the US and the UK um, watching but mentioned in the comments is is also Greece and Denmark and the United States and Scotland <laughs> so um, oh, it's just amazing I'm so thrilled so again thank you thank you thank you so much for your support I really appreciate it let's get back to the video <laughs> so let's look at the setup I find it easy just to simply load a tray up with a variety of materials and media I like to have dough and ink tents and near colour twos. I like the flexibility of being able to use them dry or wet. I always have some pens on hand. I find drawing with pens so much more freeing. So fine liners, poskas, I tend to stick to black and white, or even coloured biros. I also pop on my Lamy fountain pen, which I use for drawing, but I also use it for writing too. A couple of the pencil cases already have things in, so they stay, but I need not necessarily use them. I think I've got a pencil, an eraser, and some scissors. I've got a couple of Tombow pens, which may be useful. They too can be used dry or wet. Now I'm happy having watercolors on my tray. I take my small palette and some tubes with me, and I like to use the paint straight from the tubes onto the page. I find I can use them without making too much of a mess. I have a water brush and a couple of regular brushes and a small water spray. This is a mini travel cosmetic water spray and it's so handy. If I decide I need a water pot as well, I'll either unscrew the water spray bottle or I'll grab one from the kitchen at the time. I'll have some kitchen paper handy, but you might find baby wipes could be useful too. And there's a couple of pencil sharpeners. I bring a couple of sketchbooks and some loose paper and something to lean on. I've got a clipboard, but you could use the back of an old paper pad or have a lap tray handy. I tend to compartmentalise my materials in my studio space anyway, so just transferring the containers, the boxes, the pencil cases, the jars onto the tray is easy for me. A nice idea is to have a dedicated box or basket or container of art materials that you store in your lounge. Here I would think about what suits the room aesthetic. Where will it be? Is it going to be hidden? Is it going to be visible? If you want to hide your supplies when you're not using them, maybe think about the space under your sofa or chairs. Can you slide a box under there, maybe a box file or a shallow basket? Job done. So we've got our materials together, so let's get cosy and start using them. Remember this is your downtime, time for relaxing, so keep the expectations low. This is low pressure play. Keep it simple. Don't concentrate. Focus more on the TV and let your hand just play with the materials on the page. Just doodle, make marks. Maybe try some asemic writing. Draw some objects in your room. What can you see in front of you? Do some quick sketches, some continual line drawings. Maybe sketch some TV faces. You have to be quick here, but they're fun to do. You could create base layers on your sketchbook pages, something for you to work on in the future. 
or try some composition thumbnail ideas for new projects. Draw using magazines or coffee table books for reference. Just choose a random page and draw what's on it. Do some sketchbook play. Try choosing three art materials that don't usually use together and cover the page with marks. See how they interact, how they overlay. Don't think, just play. You could do that with three colours that you don't usually use together as well. Another idea is to use this time to play with materials that you don't usually use. Now, I'm sure we've all got a box of something that we've bought in the past because we thought it was fun or somebody's given it to us. And we've, we've had a go with it and it, yeah, it doesn't really tick the box at the time. Maybe have a go playing with those materials. You might find that if you use them with the three material challenge that I just spoke about, then you might find that they, they work with something that you hadn't really thought about. You could always use this time to put together your inspiration book. In my last video, I spoke about inspiration books. So you could put, use this time to put together your inspiration book and do some cutting and sticking. So I think the key here is to keep it simple, keep it portable, keep it fun. So I hope that's given you some ideas to put together your own sofa sketching kit for the long winter evenings. Let me know in the comments what works for you. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.